All right. So when you're working with, I'd say, you know, more complex animations or animations where you have a lot of things going on the slide, maybe really trying to control some of that timing, uh, Storyline's cue points actually really uh, make this a lot easier because what it lets you do is actually create these visual markers that really guide you and help you understand where you need to put those uh, animations, where you want to start those objects uh, coming in. So here's an example of what the, the final slide looks like, but uh, let's just actually jump back and uh, build this out. Uh, cue points really are uh, something I'll, I'll really lean on when I'm actually uh, working with more complex files. So you kind of got a preview of this, right? We have a character who's uh, kind of indicating or pointing to the animated text bullets that are coming in. So we actually have what, you know, four objects here with a character and then four bullet points. So it's a total of eight objects that need to sync with our audio. So I don't need that open, so I'll just bring this up. So we have an audio file here and then we have the uh, the text bullets, right? Animation, uh, the application, the four stages, and then we have our character. So a couple ways to uh, go about this. First thing I wanna do is actually insert the cue points. I wanna get some cue points along this line, uh, this timeline that actually help me uh, visualize or see where um, I need to start my animations. And here's how it works. What we wanna do is actually uh, turn up our volume and you may hear parts of this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the play key. I'm just gonna press this uh, play button right here and I'm gonna listen for uh, this audio. And I know where I want these uh, individual items to come in. So as I hear that, that, that point in the audio track, I'm gonna press the letter C on my keyboard. Application, um, processing, underwriting, closing slash funding. So the rest of this, I don't need any animation. So by pressing the C key on uh, the keyboard, I was actually able to insert these four cue points. Now I can edit these or I can move these around uh, as I need to, right? And if I needed to delete one or more, I could right click on them and uh, delete them. But I think these are fine. And what I did was as I heard each of these four phases come in, I press C and I lay down a marker. And that marker really tells me where I want my animations to come in. So here's what I can do now. I can look at my character. I see that she's the uh, character closing, right? Which means that she's gonna come in when this fourth bullet does, and I know that's the fourth one. So I'll bring her right there. And the same thing for the character underwriting, which is the third bullet, bring that one in. Now, because I only have one character, I'm gonna have her fade out on the underwriting. So I can reduce this timeline and bring that in right there with that point uh, Q point actually uh, begins. And maybe I'll just give it a little bit of an overlap by bringing this one over. Now for the character loan, which is the second bullet, that's gonna be my second cue point. And then finally with the application, I could bring that in for the first. And of course these don't remain on the slide the entire time. So this is how this makes this a lot easier for uh, inserting and controlling your animations. Now same thing with the bullets right here, right? So I have those four stages of bullets. I know that the application comes in right here at number one, loan processing comes in at number two, and it doesn't really matter in this case if they if I move them above or below each other because they're all going to be visible here over this, uh, this little flip chart. So there's my fourth one, and that controls each of those. Now, a couple other things I can do though, right? I might need to uh, either delete them or I wanna control maybe a little bit more uh, alignment with my objects. Well, what I could do is I could take one of these, and if this hadn't been already um, aligned to the cue point, you can right click this object here and just say align to cue point. Let me bring this up so you can get a little better visual. Right click, choose align to cue point, and now I can choose which of the four, right, because I have four cue points on here, which cue point I want to uh, align this character, this object to. So click one and automatically uh, aligns right there. So really handy resource in Articulate Storyline uh, for controlling and syncing your more complex uh, animations.